table for two, table for two, having fun, playing games, just me and you. Welcome to the Table for Two show. I'm Phil. And I'm Jane. <laughs> Are you going to make it through the show? I don't know. Oh boy. All right, well. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sick. I have yeah. a cold, and I feel like crap. So, but I wanted the show to go on. Yeah. So I'm. I didn't do my hair. And I put lipstick on, but I didn't put anything else on. So mm -hmm. these are on. So you can't see how wonderful I look as I'm sick. And if I sniff a lot, I'm sorry. And if I sneeze, I'm sorry. And if I cough, I'll try to cough over there. And I feel bad because I think I gave it to her. <laughs> <Sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. And the second part is I really like this game we're about to talk about, mm -hmm. and I'd really be very excited, but I am excited. You yes. can't tell. Uh, today's game is Papillon. Yeah, I'll show you. I can show the box. There we go. Yeah, look how pretty. It's a pretty butterfly. It's a beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice about this cover is the cover has a cover. <laughs> <laughs> with another butterfly. It goes in, I can't do it right now, but it goes yes. in like that so it keeps the nice cover nice. Mm -hmm. What do you call this? Like a shell? I don't know. Uh, cover slip. A slip. There you go. Papillon. <laughs> Papillon. Yeah. By Colossal Games. It was a Kickstarter. It was a Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Two to four players. Yep. Two to four players. Takes 30 to 60 minutes. Yeah. It says ages 14 and up. The main reason I decided to kickstart this is because it was the prettiest thing I ever saw. And you'll see in a moment what I mean. Yes. Um, and then Phil, you know, he's a guy, but he liked it too. <laughs> I liked it too, yes. So, so I, in, I can't talk. Tell him what it's all about. In, in Papillon, <laughs> we are gardeners. Uh, we're trying to uh, grow beautiful gardens, flower gardens, so we can collect uh, the most nectar with our butterflies. What do we do? We nectar? collect nectar. Whoever, That's the whole object of the game. Whoever has the most nectar wins. Yes. That's it. Yes. But I think first... But there's eight rounds in the game. Yes, there's eight rounds. Right. And there's four phases to each round, which we're going to explain. Mm-hmm. And then, don't forget, click below, and you can see the beautiful pictures I took because, God, I'm glad we don't have to play this game when I'm feeling sick <laughs> on the show. Yeah, exactly. But it's really a beautiful game, so take a look at the yes. pictures below. But speaking of nectar, I could use a drink. Time yeah. for the drink of choice. Drink of choice. So, I have a uh, nice porter, Night Rain, from Oso Brewery in Wisconsin. So you're drinking a beer? I'm having a beer. You don't have the same I'm, thing. I'm going to have a shot. Okay. A shot and a beer. Okay. Night quill. <laughs> Hence why I'm not drinking, because you really shouldn't, <laughs> you really shouldn't drink alcohol when you're taking Night quill, because it's bad enough I feel like crap. You don't want me falling asleep during the show. Yeah. But I also have my tissue box. And I also have my water, so I can drink water mm. during the show. Okay. Mmm. Water. It's very good. Good for your health. Well, I'll save you the other night, Ray. Okay, so anyway, there's eight rounds to the game. <laughs> Phil's going to talk about the phases. Yes. So, so it's really, it's really, go ahead. Talk about phases. Yeah, the phases game's are. actually pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. There's four phases, mm -hmm. which are among the eight rounds. Yeah. Uh, the first phase is the preparation, preparation phase. Preparation phase. So you're going to talk, and then I'm going to show. Okay. So what this is, it's a very nice, small board mm -hmm. for the game. Sorry about my voice, guys. And it's just so beautiful, the little garden. But what happens is you get this beautiful bag that has papillon on the bag. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yes, papillon. papillon. And inside, the, it's kind of like carcassonne, guys. Be like that, you know. Yeah. Um, you have these tiles in the bag. I'll show you a few of the tiles here. Like you can't really see, but you'll see in the pictures. They're little tiles with flowers mm -hmm. and grass and butterflies on them. And the preparation phase is very easy. You simply pull from the bag mm -hmm. random tiles, and you place them on the little spots on the board. Except for two-player game. Two-player game, we don't use this spot. Right. And we don't use this spot. Right. So two-player rules, you don't use those two spots. So that's just a little FYI. Yeah. Otherwise, you use all the spots. It's kind of like you're putting like a tableau to pick mm -hmm. from. Oh, here we go. <coughs> oh, boy. A beautiful... I don't have a cough button. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, beautiful tiles to choose from. So we can put the tableau. And then there's eight 
gnomes. You can't see it, but you'll see <laughs> you, in the pictures. You, you can't have a, a beautiful garden without gnomes, right? Yeah, and you'll see that at the very bottom, there's eight spaces for the gnomes, and you have all the gnomes lined up there, face, you know, so the gnome side up. Mm -hmm. And so the preparation phase, after you put your tiles down, you go to gnome number one, you flip it over, and you put it by the little shed, and it says, oops. <laughs> that one has a two It has on a two it. on it. So yes. what the heck does that mean? It means if you collect that gnome during your turn, you get two caterpillars. Mm -hmm. And caterpillars equal nectar at the end of the game. So yes. each caterpillar equals one nectar, which you're trying to collect. By the way, some of the tiles, I don't think I have a good sample of one here. I'm sorry to find one. And I do apologize, guys. I really love this game. My enthusiasm's mm -hmm. not working well. On some of the tiles, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll see it in the show on the pictures. If you see there's a caterpillar on the tile, you put the caterpillar on the tile on the board. And mm -hmm. if you collect this tile, you also get to keep that caterpillar. So caterpillars are good because they uh, equal nectar points at the end. Um, one thing to point out, though, mm -hmm. at the very top of the board, you can't probably see this, but there's four spaces for the players. And you put your meeple, your gardener meeple, on those spaces. With a two-player game, you simply just... You know, decide who's going to go first, but you roll a die or something. Yeah. And those, you know, basically turn order. So one person goes first, the second person goes second all the time. Mm -hmm. But in a four, or three or four player game, you actually bid who goes first. Yeah. So you'll see there's a bidding section of this, uh, the rules on this game. But we don't use the bidding section for the two player. So we always stay in the same order unless somebody collects a gnome on their turn mm -hmm. and that automatically switches it. So that's just that. So preparation, put down tiles, put up your gnome, and get ready to play. Yes. Okay, so that's, that's preparation phase. That, that's the first preparation phase. The second phase is the drafting phase. Drafting phase. Drafting phase, each player, in turn order, decides what tiles they're going to take. Mm -hmm. And you're either going to take a row or you're going to take a column. Okay, so right. if, let's say, for example, I took this middle row, which you'll see in, again, the picture play, and Phil wants to take, <coughs> sorry, this column, he would just have one less tile to take in that column yes. because I took the row. Not a big deal. Yeah, but there might still be a good advantage for taking the two that are there. Yeah. But if you take this row, you can see, this mm -hmm. row or this column, right, column, <laughs> this is what happens when you're diary and you're on drugs, um, you also get that gnome. Mm -hmm. If you get the gnome, Again, the turn order changes to you if you're not already first. Yeah. And depending on the number on the back of the gnome, you also get, let's say it was two, you get two more caterpillars right. to add to your collection. Mm -hmm. Which, again, with a three- and four-player game, you could use those caterpillars to bid to get to the... But we don't use the bidding. Yeah, just, they kind of work like currency more for the three- and right. four-player games. We just use them for um, uh, points at the end of the game. Yes. yes. Okay, so then so we prepped. We, we, oh, and you only do that once per person. Yes. Um, picking um, the tiles you want. Yeah, the rest Whatever. of the tiles. Well, we'll talk about that yeah. phase, but you know, you only get to take one time. Right. Okay. So, <coughs> the third phase. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> the third phase is the gardening phase. Mm. The gardening phase. Yes. Is very much like Carcassonne. Mm -hmm. In the fact that you take the tiles that you, you took and you start to build your garden near your play area. Yeah. Okay? And Again, I keep referencing Carcassonne. I probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, because there's not one play area. Each person has a play area. Right, but it's the same concept of you have to match. So there's four color flowers, purple, yellow, blue, and red. So if I have a purple tile or a tile with purple flowers and another tile with purple flowers, I can put the purple flowers together, obviously. Mm -hmm. and then there's green space, and you can put the green space together. <coughs> I am so sorry. Green space together. But you really have to make sure they match. You talk about matching while well, it takes more water. Sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave. So. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. So when Why do you want to cancel? When, when, you, when you match the tiles up, so the, the, the object is you're trying to close. Uh, you're, you're trying to enclose areas. So you want to be strategic about not. Yeah, to, so if you take your flowers mm -hmm. and you finish a flower bed, basically, they call that, or they call that, they like, call that patches. Right. Like these two, it, <laughs> it's just. Two together, but that's finished. In other words, there's nothing else you can attach no, to it. Yeah, right. There's okay, no more. This is the fun part. So, mm -hmm. once you place your gardening tiles down, and you put them where you want to put them, and once you put them, you can't change them for next turn. They stay where they are. Right. But if you finish a flower patch, let's say the yellow flower patch, whatever it may be, 
everybody, this is the fun part, you get a color gardener, like I was white gardener. No, you were the white gardener. Mm -hmm. I was the pink gardener. Yep. So each player gets 12 butterflies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So Phil had white. <coughs> we actually have tiny clothespins on the back, which is kind Please of cool. send your charitable donations to the Jane Sick <laughs> Fund. <coughs> I had pink. Did you mm -hmm. say there were clothespins already? Yeah, little clothespins on there. So, well, let me just preface something. Be careful. Yeah. Go very gentle with these. They didn't break when we were using them, but I could tell that if somebody is rough, this could break very easily. So just yeah. be very careful. But anyway, so for every flower bed that's complete or patch, mm -hmm. you take one butterfly and you put it on that patch. And that's just basically you've earned the butterfly. Right. And that is the gardening phase. Yes. Okay. The last phase, so now you've got your butterflies on your patches. The last phase is the mm -hmm. pollination phase. This isn't sexual. <laughs> well, I guess if you're a flower, maybe that's how, may, if you're flowers, maybe it is. Maybe that's how I got the stupid cold. <laughs> it pollinated me. <laughs> With a cold. I'm trying to laugh, but it hurts. Sorry. Okay, here's what I think is the main reason I bought this game. Mm -hmm. Look at, uh, I came duck. <coughs> you want me to try? <laughs> Any second, here it goes. Okay, for a two-player game, mm -hmm. you use four stand-up flowers, they call them. Look how pretty this is. Purple. Mm -hmm. There's a red. Somebody's got to feel bad for me out there. Yellow. And blue. So these are stand-up yes. flowers. Each one of these, in the beginning of the game when you're setting up, goes on what's called a flower stand. So you kind of just put it like that. Yep. Okay, but the flower stand, there's a lot of these, and you just randomly choose them when you put them out at the beginning of the game with a flower like that. Whoever has the most butterflies on this flower stand gets the points at the bottom. So the first per the person who has the most flowers on the flower stand has nine points, second is five, and third would be two. <coughs> but in a two player game, we only focus on the first one and the last one. So first, second, second. Mm -hmm. That's the first and the last amount of points. But what happens is during the pollination phase, any flower, uh, any butterflies that yes. you've earned on your garden, this is, I think, the cute part. Let's say you had a, you know, purple um, patch. Mm -hmm. You would take your butterfly and you would simply clip it on to the purple patch. Look how pretty. And that's how you know that you're now on that purple mm -hmm. flower. And then if you have a, two, this is the important part. If you have a flower patch that only consists of two tiles, then you just put your, you know, butterfly you, on one there. One butterfly. Right. One butterfly. But if it's three or more, if you make a bigger patch, mm -hmm. like a four patch or something like that, each flower stand at the very beginning of the game has a, <laughs> has there that. Is. I got it. Um, I'm it, sorry, guys. It, it has a little butterfly token sitting bonus on the base. token. Yes, it's a bonus token. It's just plus one, but it's plus one. <coughs> so the, pers the first person who gets on that flower patch with mm -hmm. three or more yes. flowers, three or more gets tiles keep, in their flower, gets to get bed. the bonus. Right. Okay, everybody's laughing out there, going, "These two better just <laughs> give it up right now." But it's such a good game. I'm yeah. telling you, I know this sucks. Yeah. When you look at the picture review, you'll love it. Yeah. Um, now. The next time you have a three or more flower patch, you don't get a bonus token. Mm -hmm. But regardless if the bonus token there is there or not, you still get to place another butterfly on it. Yeah. Which is nice. So you take, you take one out of your stash mm -hmm. and put it on. Or you could take it from another flower stand and put it on that, that particular color. Yes. Just, because you want to make sure you're, you're trying to get the most butterflies on an area. So you might want to yeah. move them around a little bit. So which, which I actually ran out of. I think there are 12 sick. butterflies. I'm sick. I know you are. I think there are twelve butter. I think it's twelve butterflies. I ran out of them. I had them all on the flowers, but on like two of them, I was n not in the lead. So I decided to say heck with one of the flowers and move them all the to flower. the other. Yeah. <laughs> so. so I mean, so four phases. Very. It sounds very simple, but you know, again. Mm -hmm. And then once that's over, you're done, and you go to the next round. Right. And you start all over. Preparation. You put your tiles down. You put the gnome over. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and you do your drafting, where you pick which row or column you want. Yep. To decide you know, who's going first. Then you. Then you do the gardening. You do your gardening, putting your garden together, hopefully getting some patches that are mm -hmm. um, complete. 
And if you do, you put your butterflies on them. Yep. And then last is you put them and you pollinate them on the bigger plant stands. Mm-hmm. And then you just keep doing that for eight, eight, eight different rounds. Eight rounds. till the eighth gnome is uh, gone off the bottom of yes. the board. Uh, and oh, that- I mentioned, though, if you take the gnomes, that's really important. If you take the gnomes, yes, it does. With the two-player game, it switches who goes first. Mm-hmm. And you get the extra um, caterpillar. But keep your gnomes. Because if for any reason at the end of the game there is a tie, the person with the most gnomes... Yes. Breaks the tie. So that's important to keep the gnomes if you, if you do get them. Yeah. Um, so talk about the end. Then the game's over. Right. After so eight at the, after the eight rounds, the game I'll is rest. over. And there's this nice little score, uh, sorry, score sheet. Sleeping. Nice little sh- score sheet you get. And I'll just kind of break it down real quick. You get, um, as Jane described, whoever's first or second mm-hmm. uh, in a two player game, first or second on each of the flower stands, um, that's scored on the top. Which you probably can't see over there, but you'll see. In, when you can you, just tell them. Yes. Yeah. What's that? You can just tell them. You don't have to show. Yes, I'm, I'm saying that. Oh. Uh, the uh, and then you also get. Um, <clears throat> so you total that up. Uh, you also get uh, one for each caterpillar, which you've been collecting along the way. Um, you also score how many. So then in the fields on the tiles, well, explain, you'll see it in the. You'll see yeah, there the are picture. little butterflies flying around in the fields. Like well, pictures any, on the tiles, they're not actually the butterfly yes, tokens. Yes, um, it, any enclosed field areas that have butterflies in them, you count those butterflies too. So there's a lot of different ways to score in this game. Mm-hmm. So you total those up. Uh, you also get scoring for the largest patches that you have. Two of the largest patches you have. And uh, and then you also count the bonus tiles, or the bonus butterflies. Yep. And, go ahead. and then mm. basically you just total all that up for each player, and, and you that's won. your total score. I was By surprised. By one stinking point. I w- it was 52 to 51. Now what's kind of nice is they have this beautiful little score pad. Mm-hmm. And you know, and by the way, it's in French on one side, yes. and English on the other. But if you don't want to waste all the score pad, honestly, it's nice. If you, or if you want to, for some reason, keep track of who scored what, that's fine. Um, but the board, once you're done playing the eighth round, and you know, you're done with the board at that point, you can turn it over. Aha! Uh-huh. Yeah, you can just and score use your meeples to score. Mm-hmm. So you still have to go through those items and even tell you at the bottom the same things yep. to score, and then you just move your meeple along the way. Yep. So whichever way you want to score is fine, but it's nice to give you two options for that. Yeah. And I, and I like that under the score, like you said, on the bottom, it shows, it tells you what to do, so you don't really need this. Yeah. So. Hold on, here comes the look up. Uh-oh. <coughs> Cough button. If I die before the show is over, you can have all my games. Okay. Okay, now, before I die. <laughs> I was like, I think that would have happened anyway, but... <laughs> all right, before I collapse. A couple of things. Number one is... I love this game, even though I sound like crap right now. I apologize. I really love this game, and I feel bad for the people who made this game who may see this review and say she sucks because I usually yeah. don't suck. I don't think I always suck, but um, right now I feel like crap. But what was beautiful about the Kickstarter is the Kickstarter came with all this beautifulness, mm-hmm. but it also came, which is really nice, with these really pretty. These are bonus cards from the Kickstarter, I believe, or Kickstarter special. And I just kind of talk about the butterflies. See, pretty yeah. butterflies. Butterfly cards. You don't, you don't use them in the game, but they're just, just pretty cards. And <clears throat> in the Kickstarter, you get expansions. Mm-hmm. This is called the Beyond the Meadow Expansion Kit. But I won't go and show you every little thing in here because there's a lot in here. But there I is will, a lot there. I will say that there's a whole bunch of different expansions, like Bird Bath module and predators where you have like bad bugs and stuff yeah and goals like if you reach a certain goal you get more points at the end and different types of tiles you can add and there's just it's beautiful there's just so many little they're all little expansions you can put them all together i think most of them yeah and we really thought that was really neat that it could change up the game quite a bit now the one thing i will mention with the kickstarter and this is just i'll tell you why i'm mentioning this in just a minute the kickstarter um came with the expansion. Mm-hmm. I have no idea if they're selling it like this or how they're going to sell it in the future or how that's even going to work. I don't know if you can get this. I think you can go on Kickstarter and maybe pre-order or something. But this box actually comes flat in the package. And then all of the Kickstarter extra stuff was in the box, mm-hmm. the actual big box. So if you get this game, um, it's kind of weird because when I first got the game, there was a bunch of tile punch-outs for all these things outside of the box. Like, and it was all wrapped in plastic. And I, I assumed that the stuff outside the actual box was the um, expansion stuff. Yeah. 
But it turned out the stuff outside the box was actually the stuff for the game, and some of the expansion stuff was in the box. So yeah. just be really cautious if you buy this game um, with, with the expansion because you want to make sure. It's not a big deal. You just, you know, when you're separating your parts, just read your parts list. Yeah, just, yeah, the, the table contents and part, parts list. And make and sure, you know, what part goes to the main game and then what parts go to the expansion. Yeah. Um, so why am I telling everybody this, Phil? Well, here's why. <laughs> I can't get them to fold back. I can't see, and I'm not taking these glasses off because then... Yeah, just because. Um, and no, he didn't punch me or something. Because somebody's stupid out there saying, oh, should we play punch her? And she doesn't want to show her uh, eye. No. I'm just swollen. My eyes are swollen because I'm sick. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's why I'm telling you when you get the game. Because we have four more to give away. Yes. Four. 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 So here's the story. We have our normal contest going on right now on our Facebook page for last month's games. You should all know that. You should go to our Facebook page, go to the poll section, Mm -hmm. and you can enter to win one of the games we reviewed last month. Next month, you'll be able to win this game as well on part of the poll uh, option. But we still have four additional copies of this game. I'm going to cough again. (coughs) So, if you want to win a copy of this game... Go to our website, or our Facebook page, excuse me, our Facebook page, Mm -hmm. and there's actually another poll out there. So when you go to the polls page, you'll see the monthly contest, and there should be a drop-down, and you'll see a a one called for Pepion, or how how it is. Yes, Pepion. Pepion. I'm French. You think I see the (laughs) same? Half French, anyway. And then you use that poll, and just say you would like to win a copy of this game. And then what we will do on Christmas Day, and you don't have to watch, Christmas Day we will pick a winner, or four winners, of mm-hmm. Pepia. Yeah. Does that sound good to you? Yes. Our Christmas present to you. Four copies. So hopefully one of y'all out there would want a copy of this. So do that. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm so enthused. Can you tell? I am really mm-hmm. enthused. I just don't feel good. Um, in the meantime, um, we love all of you. We thank you for watching our show. Mm-hmm. We hope you'll subscribe on YouTube. Please do. Um, like us on Facebook. And tweet us on Twitter. Yep. Instagram was on Instagram, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and if you believe in flu shots, get your flu shot. <laughs> I don't have the flu. Let's just point that out. I, I have know. a cold. Okay? Let's not go there. But um, the other thing is also please share if you like our videos. Maybe not this one necessarily, unless you want people to win. Share if you want them to enter the contest. That would be yes. nice of you. Um, but uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll talk to you. We'll see you next week. Next week is our last show of the year because mm-hmm. uh, in the holidays. And then we'll pull our winners on Christmas. And um, I think that's all I have to say. I think you need to hit the NyQuil now. Can I go to bed now? Yes, you can. You can go back to bed. By the way, I was wearing a pretty flower headband. I like that. See? but And uh, it matches, I think it actually matches the colors of the flowers. (laughs) That was the plan. Yep. Anyway, hopefully next week I'll be in a much better state. So, talk to y'all next week. All right, everybody. Bye. Good luck. Bye.